All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GTA 5. We're playing the brand new Finance and Felony DLC. Well, realistically, we're playing GTA Online just with a bit of Finance and Felony uh, content in there. Now, I'm, I'm going to explain this real quick because I had this problem as well when I started out. I didn't know how to be a CEO. So, get the hell out of your beautiful car, bring up your phone, and go to the internet. And you're gonna click right on this Dynasty 8 executive thing, enter site. It's gonna give you four different uh, offices here to choose from. Now, you wanna have 1.25 million at least to actually start as a CEO and actually start making money. The cheapest uh, office that you can buy is this one, and I've already bought it. It's a million. Uh, and then I'll explain what the 250k is for later. But you can see there are a bunch of offices. There's 4 million here. It's the most expensive. There's the 3 million one. Uh, and you need an office to be a CEO. You can't be a CEO on the side of the street. I'm sorry. So you're going to want to go onto this office. You want to buy. And then it gives you a load of options that add cost to the, uh, to the, to the thing. So if you have enough money, then maybe you can. So you choose decor, you choose if you want a male or female, obviously we want the female, jeez. Uh, organization name, we type in what our name is. We choose the font, we choose the color. We can add a gun locker, we can add a safe, we can add accommodation, all this rubbish. But you can just go ahead and just buy the simple thing without all this stuff. Uh, so anyway, we're going to back out the internet once we've bought the office. We then want to head over to it. Like as so. And then we enter the office. Now, upon entering your office, you are greeted by your lovely female assistant. Because I told you to get a female, didn't I? Uh, and, and you've got your beautiful uh, company logo up there. And you've got your, got your CEO uh, uniform on walking into the office, you stroll straight in and you run over to this PC. Now, if there are so many other players in your session and they are also CEOs, it won't actually let you log in. Um, it's going to tell you to go to another session because there's too many CEOs in this session. So uh, since I'm in a nice and quiet session, I can log in here. Uh, here we go. Don't look at the password. Thank you. And we log in. Now, let's ignore this because you're not going to have that the first time. You're going to have this. You're going to have the warehouse map. To become a CEO and start trading and making money, you need a warehouse. And it's any of these, really. Uh, of course, uh, you can you can get these, you know, a, a big one. Let's see, 111 crates that can, uh, that can hold. So that's a large size one. Uh, of course, I went for the small one. The cheapest one I found was 250k. Uh, and in there at the moment, I have two crates out of 16. Uh, that's the beginner warehouse. It's the cheapest one. I got that one. Look, I'm not that rich, okay? Now, after you've bought the warehouse, you're gonna get these three options on the left here uh, where you can buy a number of crates. What this is, is basically we're putting money into something, into, into something that's gonna generate us more. We're gonna buy stock, we're gonna take it somewhere else, and we're gonna sell it there. And then we're gonna make profit from it. Now, if you... Here's the thing. <laughs> One crate is probably the best to go for at the moment if you're alone. If you've got friends, then go for three crates because shit goes down and three crates become incredibly hard. I actually bought three crates earlier and only managed to save two uh, from, well, thieves and we'll get there. So I'm gonna buy one jewelry crate. Now once those are bought, we're gonna go fetch them. So, on the route! We've got a problem, boss. Members of the Lost Motorcycle Club intercepted our product. So, as always, uh, when you exit your office, you get a uh, call from your assistant to tell you that it's been hijacked, or maybe there's a trap when you get there. But either way, there's going to be a problem with your shipment, and you've got to sort it out as CEO. Yeah, it's not as easy as just sitting down and doing nothing. All right, once you get there, you're gonna have to just shoot a few folk. And of course, if you're in an armored car, they can't do shit to you. Okay, I fucking lied. What the fuck? So after you've killed everyone, you can simply walk over to the truck that has the, uh, the shipment in it. And yeah, you have to drive a shit car. Also, 
If killing a load of people to get your package back wasn't enough problem, can you see that thing in the bottom right hand corner, global signal? Yeah, it's just told every other player on the map where I am and where my cargo is. Oh, and you get goons on the journey, too. So, uh, it's all easy. It's a, <laughs> it's all an easy day of work for this CEO here. So now you just gotta drive your shipment back to your warehouse to store it. So now that we've arrived at the warehouse, the goons are gonna fuck off and we can put our cargo in our warehouse. All right, once you're in the warehouse, you can actually vividly see your cargo. So I've got three boxes here because I actually picked up two crates earlier on a different mission. Now we've just gotta make the sales by accessing this laptop. Once you're in, it'll give you a choice of, well, who to sell it to. Uh, of course, one crate cost me uh, 2,000, so I can sell it for 10k and make a little bit profit. But obviously, if you sell more crates in one shipping to one uh, company, you'll make more profit per crate. So I'm actually going to go ahead and sell the three crates altogether. So once you've confirmed the sale, you now have to go and travel and pick up the cargo uh, in, in, a, in a vehicle that will, you will take and deliver to the company themselves. Now, the important thing to mention is the more crates that you try and ship, the harder the delivery is going to be. So three crates, I've been given a plane. If I only selected one crate, I would have been given just a, a simple truck. And that would have been a whole lot more easier. Now that you're in your plane and you're on the way, it's all good. Obviously, if your server isn't as silent as mine right now, you're probably going to get a lot of missiles or choppers chasing you because your global signal goes off after three seconds. Now, if you have a passenger with you in the plane, they can actually use a signal jammer. But, uh, I don't. Uh, the landing wasn't smooth. You're greeted by tons of fucking enemies. And there we go. Once you've just uh, put the plane in the area, it will sell. And there we go, 37,000. Uh, you actually end up getting a little bit of a bonus for there being players in your uh, in your server. So, uh, and the more players there are, the more the bonus is. Uh, I have no idea why I got such a massive bonus there. That was about 5,000, I think. Because I'm pretty sure there's no players in this session. I'm, I'm being beaten by an old man. Anyway, that was the day of a CEO. Rinse and repeat, ladies and gentlemen, and climb the ranks of buying better offices and bigger warehouses and uh, hiring bodyguards. That's obviously the next part of being a CEO. But this is the simple place to start, and I hope you learned enough from this video uh, to be able to go and do it yourself. Um, I'm gonna give it a bit more of a try, see if I can start be making the big bucks from large shipments, and uh, obviously I'll need those bodyguards because Eh, I had a bit of trouble myself with this. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like me uh, and this video and yeah, stuff like that. Um, I make other videos. All right, see ya later. Bye.